speed. I am speed. What's up, Glizzy Gamers? Sorry, sorry, please don't leave. Fall Guys has become known as the game that blew up in popularity and then became overshadowed by Among Us just a few weeks later. Leading up to release, Fall Guys looked like a game that I would love because of its unique lighthearted take on the battle royale genre. When most battle royale games were doing this, the fuck you say to me, you little shit? Fall Guys was doing this. The only reason I didn't buy the game day one was because I wanted to wait for the Switch port that never came, hmm. and it doesn't look like it's coming anytime soon either. So I ended up buying it for my PC right as Season 3 came out so I could finally check out Fall Guys with all of its new content, after the hype. Okay, I see what you did there. For those of you who have been living under a rock, I'll sum up Fall Guys in 10 seconds. Fall Guys is a battle royale game consisting of 60 players. Every round, some people get eliminated through a variety of different levels. After 4 to 5 rounds, the remaining players enter the final round, where the winner of that round wins the game. The first thing people notice about Fall Guys is the bright chibi graphical style. It's so inviting and just makes you want to love the game. The Fall Guys characters make these high-pitched cute noises that add to the charm and happy aesthetic. It's a great stylistic choice since it's hard to get mad at a pink jelly bean who makes this sound. You can even change their appearance as you unlock cosmetics just by playing the game. Or paying for in-game currency. This is still modern gaming after all. When I first started playing, everything was new and exciting because I didn't know how any of the levels worked. I was just part of this massive blob of chaos just trying to make it to the next round. As I became more familiar with the levels, I developed strategies for them and started to make it to the final round more and more which is a highly addictive feeling. The only moves available to you is a jump, dive, and a grab. Because the game is so simple, the fun comes in its skillfully random nature. Yes, you can get better at Fall Guys, which is why I started to get to the finals more and more consistently. However, you can't tell me there's at least a little bit of randomness to the game. Surprise, motherfucker! This inherent randomness is why the game is so fun to play and watch. Even if you get screwed over by someone, you can't take it too seriously. I played with my girlfriend, trading off every time we got out. Of course, I gave her two turns in a row if she got out on the first round, though. Aww. I was surprised at how much I didn't want to play, but not in a bad way. I found it just as exciting to yell advice, hoping she made it to the next round as it was for me to play. I asked her what she thought about the game, and she said, It's fun for the whole family. So what I salvaged from that was the feeling of Fall Guys being just as fun to watch as it is to play. Even though there's a recently incorporated ranking system into the game, I really feel like it's counterintuitive to this game's nature. A game with this game's physics engine doesn't really need a ranked mode. I might be in the wrong here, but this game revels in its clumsy jellybean characters. I actually enjoyed not knowing if I'd make it through because of something I didn't account for. Other than the simple gameplay and physics engine, Fall Guys lives or dies by its levels. It took longer than I expected to start seeing the same levels repeatedly, with the game now having 37 different levels with variations on some depending on how far you get into the competition, the game felt fresh for quite a while. Even maps I would play fairly often like Tundra Run, I didn't really get tired of because I learned how to improve more and more every time I played it. The biggest problem with Fall Guys for me was actually how the levels seemed to be distributed. Levels like Seesaw for example, I've played tons of times, yet after 12 hours of play, I've only experienced Fall Ball once and have yet to play Royal Fumble. Obviously you're going to experience the opening levels like Tundra Run more than a team or finals level that happens later in the competition, but the frequency still fell off here. I don't know if Fall Guys pushes their new season's levels more, but it certainly felt that way. Another issue I had was the amount of latency between the server and what I was actually seeing. This wasn't a major deal in most levels, but in levels that require a lot of grabbing, I often felt cheated with certain grabs. Gotcha, bitch. The soundtrack is very fitting to the game design having a frantic and bouncy sound. 
This heightened each level's tension, since levels are so short to begin with, it made the levels feel more intense. I just wish there was more music overall. There's not a lot of tracks, though they are remixed with every new season. But I ended up getting the main theme stuck in my head and have been humming it for several days now. Although I would have liked to see these issues fixed, they're only minor issues. Even the levels I didn't like as much like Rollout still kept me engaged. Because if you stop trying for just a moment, you end up screwing yourself over. <laughs> There are four types of modes in Fall Guys with the Race, Survival, Team, and Finals modes. Starting with Race modes, these are the highlight levels of the game for me. I enjoyed how most of them are designed with alternate paths you can take depending on your skill level, or forcing you to take a risky path out of desperation. They would be lower on the list if it weren't for the Season 2 and 3 courses, but as of now they're my favorite. My second favorite mode is the Team modes. These ones have the most randomness which can be frustrating if you get on a trash team, but in a lot of the team levels you feel like you can make a difference. These also change up the gameplay significantly because working with a team brings a very different mindset than working by yourself. Third on the list I'm putting the finals events. This mode has the least amount of levels which makes sense seeing as how most players won't reach the end every time, but that's why it's here. I do like all of the finals modes I played through because they're the most skill dependent, though I doubt I'd like Royal Fumble because of the grabbing issues I stated earlier. And in last place we have the survival modes. The reason these are last place is because of their stationary nature. They're not bad, they're just kinda boring compared to the other modes. You don't really feel like you're making progress or making a difference. Instead, you're just banking on other people to screw up. This mode does have one of my favorite courses with Slime Climb, but that honestly feels like it should be in the race category. There's something addictive about Fall Guys, with its short rounds that don't last more than a few minutes at most. As the proud owner of three winning crowns, I want more and more, which makes me keep coming back. <laughs> It's got that same one more game feel as a good roguelike game, but the casual competitiveness of a game like Mario Party. Even though the game has stagnated in popularity since launch, the game is going in a good direction. The game is only going to get better with every new season that comes out. There's already 12 new levels just 4 months after launch, so this game will only get better with time. If you're hesitant about the game feeling repetitive after playing all of the modes, don't be. Sure, the game is most exciting when you're seeing each level for the first time, but replaying levels develops strategies that'll make you succeed more and more, which is fun in a completely different way. It starts to become a different style game as you start winning crowns in the finals. Even though you get better, the game always reminds you not to take it too seriously with its vibrant art style, questionable physics system, and pick up and play nature. I definitely recommend getting this game as it's the most accessible fun I've had with any game in a long time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. And let me know what your favorite battle royale game is down in the comments. Yeah!